Hey gang, have you ever heard a lick that just changed everything for you as a player? Well, I'm going to tell you about one that changed everything for me coming right up. You know, I really started listening to Led Zeppelin at the perfect time, right when I was getting into rock guitar. In the very beginning, Pete Townsend was my favorite player. But in fifth or sixth grade, I decided to shell out some of my hard-earned cash to buy both Led Zeppelin I and Led Zeppelin II. And when I put on Led Zeppelin I, that first song that comes out is a doozy. Good times, bad times. Here's what Rolling Stone had to say about good times, bad times. Jimmy Page's guitar pounces from the speakers, fat with menace. John Bonham's kick drum swings with anvil force. Robert Plant rambles on about the perils of manhood. Hard rock will never be the same. Man, talk about you had me at hello. <laughs> Jimmy Page's guitar pounces out of the speakers with, <laughs> with anvil, no, <laughs> fat with menace. I think that's just about right, man. It totally grabbed this fledgling guitar player's attention. All right, let's talk guitar now. I mean, it's just a cornucopia of lots of great stuff. First, there's that lick, the main riff, right? Just a classic riff of rock. And then there's the main solo. But the thing that really grabbed me was the outro solo, and particularly that first line, right? <laughs> I mean, just amazing, just totally grabbed my attention. Now, there were other licks in it, namely the two that I remember the most are that one right there, and then the next one, which was very influential later on, That, li that line right there, all those I think were really helpful to me, but it was that first one that totally grabbed my attention, and that's where we're going to talk today. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, let's have a more in-depth look, and I'll share with you the secret of how to play this pretty easily. All right, let's go over the lick itself first, starting here on the high E string, right, the thinnest string. We're going to play up here at the 12th. This is really a great lick to learn because it occurs all over the place. Two examples are Rick Emmett's Lay It on the Line, and a great example of something where it occurs almost exactly the same is in ZZ Top's LaGrange. This lick right here. Right? Very much the same. Okay, so what are the secrets? Well, I think you know that this is a pentatonic sort of pattern. And it's a three note pattern descending. So, right, those are just three note patterns. Da, 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 da. And we're going down the pentatonic scale. But here's what's going to really make it easy for you it's the picking pattern, and you have to be consistent about it. If you are consistent in this way, it'll start to become easy. So, here's the first thing. When you take this pattern, there's a top side and a bottom side, or a place that's forward, in other words, toward the nut, and a place that's toward the bridge. So, for example, on the E string, we've got this, that, those two notes. This note is toward the bridge. This note is toward the nut. All right, so every time you play a note toward the nut, you're going to play an upstroke. Every time you play a note toward the bridge, you're going to play a downstroke. And every time you move from the bridge to nut on the same string, you're going to pull off. So check it out. Up, down, pull off. Down, up, down. Up, down, pull off. And you just continue that. Mm -hmm. 
And if you practice that, I guarantee it'll get nice and smooth for you and it'll start to become easy. And there's lots more you can learn from good times, bad times. Hey, if you like this one, check out this video. I think you'll really enjoy that one as well. We'll see you on down the road.